All right, moving on to Honda's VFR, what do we have here? Well, we have telescopic forks, but unfortunately we don't have much in the way of adjustment. So all we have up top is a preload adjuster, which requires a very big screwdriver so you don't mar up the aluminum. So that's all we got in the front and on the shock, we have preload adjustment on the spring and rebound. So pretty limited for a bike, especially one that's used so much both on track, street, and for touring. So there's not much you can do with it. Oil in the forks, and then if you need a spring for the back, you've got to see if the rebound will manage it. So let's see what the spring rates are right and measure this thing up. Plaza Cycle, walk in and ride out with the Kawasaki Honda or Yamaha of your dreams. Remember, Plaza Cycle, walk in and ride out. All right, so measuring this up, we know extended is 20 and 3 quarter inches. So using the same two fixed points with Dave on it, we are at 19 and a quarter. So that's an inch and a half. So that's without touching it at all. So this is actually pretty good. It could be bad, because if you do go two up riding with this, and a, a lot of people do, and pile luggage on it, you may think about upgrading the spring to cope with the extra weight that you're regularly gonna put on the motorcycle. So for this type of bike, that's a consideration. Let's go to the front and see what we got. Now again, telescopic forks, so we can't see anything and you'll have to trust me on this one. We're right on the money as far as that goes in the front. So overall, for your weight, this bike's actually pretty good. There is a consideration again about the shock spring if you're going to load it and ride it two up. So bear that in mind. And that would include any of the sport touring bikes. That's a serious consideration to take in when you get in, a bon get in that particular motorcycle. Okay, moving on. Let's see. Now we know it was great for Dave at 190 pounds with gear. And it's not great for 40 pounds less. It's way too stiff. So this would probably adjust out and actually may work, but we'd be on the softest settings again. So let's go to the front. And actually that's an inch stiffer. So we know the fork springs of this are actually pretty strong. So with such a weight difference of 40 pounds, this is too, way too stiff. Fortunately, we have preload adjustment in the fork cap so we can back that out and probably get this right in the ballpark of an, a couple inches to an inch and a half. Two inches may be too much to ask at this particular weight, but again, it's a heavy bike. It depends what weight of oil is in there and these may work pretty well under normal riding conditions once we've set the sag. Okay, moving on to Chris. So we gained just over half an inch. So definitely too soft in the back, but that's to be expected with the weight differential. So let's move on in the front and see how bad this is. So actually, we only lost a quarter inch with Chris on it, which is very surprising, but speaks about the stiffness of the spring itself. So from Dave at 190 to 240, without gear for Chris, it's actually not sagged that much. So obviously the springs in here are really stiff, that's why we got such a different measurement with Haley. 